Welcome back, everybody. Guru here, back again, once again, here for the final episode of the Competitive Noob Series. And today I am joined with my friend Squish here. Bless you. Hello. Welcome back. Hey, how go? So, what we're going to hop in here and we're going to do some more of his battles. So, since this is the last episode, it's going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to record two of his videos. And then, of course, we're going to end the video off with my video because, you know, with my battle because, you know, it's my video. So, that's what we're doing. And what we're gonna go ahead and hop in these matches. So we oh, I we will see you guys when we find an opponent. All right, we are back and we have found our opponent. What's the sea monster? Sea monster. Sea monster. Okay, sure. All right, what is he running here? We got Dragapult, Comfy, Gauntchamp, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Zapdos. Sick and tired of seeing this team lineup, to be honest. I, and Sinor, Rillaboom, and Zapdos make a really good core because they resist each other's weaknesses. I guess. Uh, Doesn't mean I don't like seeing it so many times. God dang, they need people need to be trying something new. Nah. Yes. Anyway, what's your leads? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. Might just go Cartana as a way to counter that Comfy and the Rillaboom. Well, I'm not. Nah, I'm not sure. Uh, let's just go Reggie Lucky and Reggie Rock. Or, no, let's go Cartana with Reggie Rock and Moltres in the back. Okay, that's what we're going with. And that is your plan, and you're sticking to it. Are you going to set up screens? Probably. Yeah. Probably better to get the early screens out there if you can. That comfy kind of intrigues me, though. I'm kind of... Oh, God, never mind. I don't know what it's going to do. Support? Like nope. every comfy is supposed to do? Nope. If he leaves comfy Dragon Bolt, we're screwed. Comfy Dragon Bolt. <laughs> oh, well, you're screwed. Yep. I don't know if you've realized it yet. No, I haven't. Tell me. You'll see. I'm scared. Well, maybe your opponent might not do what you think he's going to do. Maybe it might be something different. Oh, I guarantee he's probably going to uh, do something you might have seen once or twice before. Well, let us see what the opponent has in store for... Let us see what the opponent has in store for Squish. <laughs> he's going to squish you like a bug, isn't he? Probably. Oh, boy. So here's the Dynamax Dragon Bolt. Intriguing. I've never really won against this start before. We're going to Dynamax. But then he's going to go first. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued about this. I don't know what the heck is going on that he got you so feared. What is people out there throwing with Dragon Ball and Kong? That's interesting. So whenever somebody leaves Dragon Ball Comfy, that Comfy is going to go first. Because of Because of full herb healing. And it's going to attack the Dragon Ball. Cracking weakness policy. As a priority dra uh, draining move. So we're in danger. <laughs> oh god. You are indeed danger. Alright, what does? Well, there's the answer. Jesus Christ. Reggie Lucky has no defense. Uh, well, true. It does. And it is at plus one and plus two. <sighs> and it's got a Steel Berry, as expected. As expected. Oh, well, we should get a plus defense. What? Right. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think we're also at minus one attack. Because the max worm Wormwood. So this Dragon Ball is probably going to kill us. Man, as long as you knock out one, I don't consider it a full sweep. Oh, uh, let's just check. Yep, we're at minus one attack because of the Max War Wing. I don't know what the Strike Ball is going to do next. Uh, we're definitely slower. Let's go Protect. 
and max air stream into the concrete slot. Get that plus. Mm -hmm. Try to outspeed them. Well, I'm not 100% confident. They're trying to outspeed a gigantic ghost dragon the size of a jet plane. Oh, yeah, plus know. one, I'm definitely going to outspeed. Nah, it don't make sense. Wink. Yeah, that was a good call. Stop that going through for doing stupid crap. Now we're now going to go minus two physical attack. Which is not where we want to be with this, uh, Cartana. Yeah, Cartana needs that attack, man. Poor thing. But Gomfy lives because of the second neg. At least you get a plus in speed, though. So at least we're going to be able to outspeed them going through this turn. And then we can click Fiery Wrath with the Moltres and Max Knuckle the Comfy to try to get some attack back. Some is being the keyword. Some is better than none, though. Uh, this is going to be an interesting climb. <laughs> Very interesting climb indeed. As long as they make a move. Really, how long does it take to actually click a button? Jesus Christ. They also could have been lagging. There's that too. Jesus Christ. Man. I couldn't have... Raise our special attack. It could have done just a little bit more. Alright, we need high rolls right now. We don't need low rolls. Why is this thing so why is this thing so bulky? What comfy? Yeah. Where am I still attack? Oh yeah, that's that's a lot. So as long as we get out of this turn, we should be good. But I'm not looking like our chances. Floor healing is his ability, isn't it? Yep. It gives priority to healing moves? Correct. Alright then, now I see why people have been throwing around Comfy around. I was like, remember, remember that Pokemon was down here before. <laughs> now it's up here. I don't know why it's so high now. I was actually decently good in Gen 7 BGC. Alright, he's on BGC rules. You gotta knock out something, man. Don't go out like a punk. Don't go out with a sweep. Knock out something. Yeah, just click rock slide. Come on. Alright, well. No, you're still at Nick 2. Alright, so there's still that. I was like, hopefully this smart shark will knock out the comfy. They're saying, oh god. <sighs> Judge! I need me a healing block. Oh, wait, that move doesn't exist anymore. Which is actually kind of funny, they just took away heal block. Alright, we don't have to deal with this comfy anymore. Now we're gonna go with the plus. We're gonna go get a plus one, leaving us at minus one. Interesting, he has max pool. Well, he has steel wing on his dragon pool. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. I guess he has it for cover, it's just in case you know this. Stalagmite sitting here with the chocolate cover. Got a guard chop now. Talk about power. What the fuck? This dude had like two dragons and a fairy. Who would have thought that fairies and dragons will go too good together, even though they're like more enemies? Yeah, a little bit of damage in on that guard chop. Even a minus one that still did a lot. I feel like you should have gave. Ice punch to your red hero. That's why I've been considering. So he's going to crack my weakness policy, which is fine. He's going to do a lot of damage to this guard chomp. Probably pick up the KO? Did you earthquake? Yeah. He needs a life orb. So he did a little bit of chip to himself. Didn't even get the KO on the guard chomp. Carton on speed to though, right? Yes. Alright, so you can knock it out that way. And then go to neutral. Click protect on the red rock just in case. Wait, for what? In case he back he uh, uses Phantom Force on the Red Rock. It goes through it. Could have told me that before. I thought you knew! You're a VGC player! <laughs> you play Showdown for a living! I've never 
seen Fatal Force actually go through. Also, that was a crit. So we got a KO on the guard come. Now we're at neutral. I still don't know how we're going to deal with this Dragon Ball. Yeah, that goes through it. <laughs> I mean, it cuts the damage in half, but it's better if it wasn't, like... It's better if you didn't protect it. I just know it goes through it. But what's well, this dude got in the back burner? Oh, Sap Dance. Okay, that's a problem. <sighs> that thing's always a problem. So we're just going to click Rock Slide. And then... Smart Strike the Dragon Bolt. Because we're fast, so we're going to get some damage in. And hopefully try to pull this back. You know, I highly doubt it. Nice and high roll. That'd be nice. That's a high roll. <laughs> now let's see what this Zapdos does. Heat wave, right? You got a heat wave. Please miss. Nope. Those targets. That's unfortunate. At least should knock out. At least this rock move. At least the rock move is gonna knock out the Zapdos. If it hits. Your luck's not that crappy. Oh, I guess it is that crappy. Oh, no, that was on the dragon. Okay, yeah, your luck's not that crappy. Alright, so that's not too bad. It, if you got a goal, at least you took out two things. Alright. All right. We're down to our last Pokemon. That's what I mean. I took down three. Oh, that's, that's, better, than, that's better than what I would take down. So yeah, this is a this is a this is a wash. But you know what? He ain't got no, no punk, so that's all that matters. He took out a couple of Pokemon. So that's that's okay. That's okay. He is a master ball tier, so there's that's quite a few skill gap. Anyway, those are two of Squish's battles. At least he got one win. He got a win and a loss, so that's all that matters. Technically, you got a win and a loss, right? Yes. All right. I'd rather have two wins. And it's not what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get set up for my battle, so I shall see you guys in a little bit. All right, we are back, and we have found our opponent, Jake. Is he from State Farm? No, it's Jake the Dog. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're looking, at our, we're looking at our opponent's team right here. Seems pretty... There's one obvious strategy the opponent is trying to do. And that is Dragapult and Colossal. This is similar to Look Like Scene that he won the Players Cup 2 with. Basically, he would just surf with uh, Dragapult, came to his Dynamax, Colossal, Trigger Weakness Policy, and Steam Engine. You know, I ran into something that's similar. Only. It was some, Weavile. Yeah, somebody used a Weavile on that and surfed it into it. Oh, yeah, you saw my video. Duh. Of course you did. Anyway, what's your top Pokemon? What are your Pokemon at the counter with? I don't know, I've never played this matchup really with this team. Alright. So I'm kind of curious. Uh. I'm pretty They're both scared. Everything is scary here. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I will predict that he's going to leave with the Dragon Ball and the Colossal. Because, you know, to get the quick what's the name off. But, I'm probably going to go Reggie Lucky Reggie Rock. And Reggie Lucky is just going to set up screens. Because we're going to be faster naturally than everything. So we can set up, like, a reflect. I honestly it does feel like he's bringing that Urshifu because he has a lot of things that can counter you. Oh, the Urshifu is definitely coming in the back, so which is probably probably why we're bringing the Kartana and the no, we're gonna go Incineroar Moltres. And that is the counter picks for today. That is hoping that it works. That is. Here we go with this dude with the end of the fog bull crap again. <laughs> God, I hate the song. Oh, this music is so good. I it's don't relaxing. like it, dude. I, what's relaxing about a howling dog? There's nothing relaxing about it. Do you not want dog? I do like dog. So he brought Willow and Cinderor. This dude going straight alone <laughs> at the very beginning. I guarantee that Cinderor is probably going to you know, click fake out. Most likely. And I'm thinking he's probably going to do it on the Cortana. So I don't think I'm going to stay in with Cortana. Because one, take out. Two, to that minus one. Three, there's a fire type. Yeah. And you said Incineroar was a Lolan. Wait. He, he has a Rillaboom. That's not a Lolan. Oh. Yeah, that's correct. Who I do not want to run and quit this battle yet. Uh, we're definitely Dynamax. The counter is fake out. I think he's gonna pick up. Well, I guess it's gonna fake out. It's 100% guaranteed. So yeah. Anyway, this last 
in this last competitive news series, Squish here is going to try to get a KO. It's the key words. Air quote, try. Because <laughs> this is a Master Ball tier, and everything everything up here is stupid. It's just stupidly strong. Oh, so we're going with a neg on both sides. Neg on both sides. That's really good. Yeah, the real one's kind of scary. Kind of? Yeah, grassy glide. Oh, and yeah. Grassy yeah. terrain does hit like a truck. Oh, yeah, I forgot about neg. Yeah, it also has like freaking choice card for something. That seems to be the common strategy. Uh, lately, I haven't seen them as assault vesters. Not the ones I've been running into. So you faked out into the the Cartana slot. That mother it's trucker. Unfortunate. It is that plus two. It, it still hits hard. I mean, of course, against the fire cat. Of course. That's no. Well, you got the first KO, though, wasn't it? As you said, picking up the momentum. I guess sometimes early Dynamaxing is okay. I suppose. I usually don't like to do it, but you know, sometimes it's necessary. Now I don't know what I'm going to do this turn. It just depends on why the opponent burns out. I might just fake out into the relevant slot. You might? Yeah. So, he probably didn't bring the Colossal at all since he didn't bring uh, Dragapult. Now, does his Urshifu resemble the Dark type or the Water type? It's that's Shuffle water style, type. so that's water, really. Eh, we can deal with that. We're probably just going to go Max Knuckle into the Urshifu. And then fake out into the uh, the Urshifu slot. My Dynamax that. Parting shot. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, so he Call me. Yeah, he's, he Dynamax itself. I did say he might Dynamax. Oh, that was the Urshifu ball. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, the Urshifu can't come in any other type of ball. Tell it to hackers. Uh. It wouldn't get through the system. But Galarian Shiny Moltres can. Yeah, okay. Oh, that did nothing. Yeah, that, he ate it up surprisingly. What the frick? I expected that to do way more. Why are you knocking off all my items? Supply strategy, if you ask me. No items? <laughs> no items is a good idea. Box only? Final Destination. I don't think these kids will get that reference. Of course not. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna get that reference. That was like 2000 back then. We're definitely gonna go Moltres here, because now the Earth Moon's at minus one, so it's not gonna go a whole lot into the Moltres slot. Probably could have arguably brought in the Cartana as well. Of course, the friggin' Rillaboom's gonna be doing what it's always been doing. It's just knocking off all your items. Oh, I'm going to be faster than the Royal Boom, unless it actually is Choice Card. Which it very well could be. I feel it, like it is. Well, it went second after the year. So I doubt it's Choice Card. Unless uh, the Urshifu has no speed investment. I highly doubt that based on the team comp. Uh, we're going to go Max Knuckle into the Urshifu slot again, and then we're going to fire off a blind hurricane. And a sandstorm? Hey, it doesn't reduce the accuracy. It's probably a salt vest really based on that grassy glide. Double into your slot. No. I figured he would double into the red slot. So now we're at plus one. So as long as we hit this hurricane, we should do a ton. Landed it. A Got ton. the KO. <laughs> I was gonna say a ton. This thing's just straight up dead. Well, it's still Dynamax. So it's the fact that the HP are through the roof. True. You're not, you're not wrong on that one. So now we're gonna go with the plus two with Red Rock, which is gonna be huge. That's decent damage. That was also my plus one. Don't forget. So yeah, I feel, so you're right. This thing is definitely assault vested too. But then again. 
Yeah, it is assault vest. Otherwise, he would have just kept using grassy glide. Because that's all they usually do. They just scarf it and then grassy glide almost everything. But he's able to use knockoff. So this thing is definitely assault vest. And she called it earlier. So yeah. Oh, he did bring the Colossal chest as a counter to... Counter to what? The Moltres? Probably? Yeah, I mean, I mean that 100% uh, clicking protect on their Moltres style. The question is, do I want a Rock Slot? Or do I just want to click Earthquake? Considering how crappy your luck has been, do you really want to take that chance with the whiff? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm also worried about... This Colossal being weakness policy with like max HP, max defense. You know, dang well this thing is weakness policy. Taking the scout. Good for him. Wow, he went into the Moltres line with Grass Supply? That's interesting. Remember that you're gonna switch. Why would I? Why wouldn't you? But there's no need. The the then again, Grass Supply might do a lot. He didn't know that. And most likely it will knock you out when your Moltres ain't got no HP left. That and we're in the sand. Now the Rebel Boom is at minus one. Yeah, it should be up. I need to pick up the K out here. Besides, you got like full full. He has, you are full full come on. He has. So I want to try and go for the fire. You were scared. We're gonna go cheeky and try to go for the double. You're insane. And you didn't even get it. I don't think I need this, uh, Moltres anymore, though. That's the thinking behind it. Good job, Reggie Rock. How? You're a pile of rocks. How are you dodging anything? <laughs> 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 Right, it just disassembled itself for like a few seconds. We well, can spell it. We know you. We know it's there. Yeah, there we go. You can't hide that. From I mean, way. we know he's probably going to click uh, protect with the colossal to try to get an extra turn because it is faster than Reggie Rock. We did learn that last. Time. Yeah, that's true. so. We're probably going to click protect on the Reggie Rock here to save it. From a grassy glide, and then we're going to bring in the, this Cartana. Sacred Sword, to what's it? Oh wait, he's going to protect, so he was Sacred Sword. Do that. Or he might not quite protect and try to go for the heat wave. Um, would he not though, knowing how Cortana is faster than it? Literally, it's a pile of fiery rock. Yeah, we're going to go after this Colossal. Like, what is it go. going to do? There you go. <laughs> Even if he clicks Protect, he just wastes his turn. Which he didn't. He just let it go down. Because he knew. <laughs> well, <laughs> he then, knew. But now what is this uh, really we want to do to Reggie Rock and Cartana? And mm. he knows I have the Incineroar still uh, on the back. Absolutely. No. Alright, we're going to play it safe. We're going to switch out Reggie Rock into Incineroar. And then we're going to click Aerial Ace. I'll give you props, Jake. That, there we go. He rage quit. I mean, he didn't rage quit, but the battle was already over. It was it was already necessary. Alright, you got to yeah. win. So that's all good. Yeah, all there's no good. way he was coming back from there. Alright, so we shall see you guys in the next battle. Alright, that is it. That is officially the end of the competitive noob series. I decided to give this bonus clip to show off my coach slash friend, Blue Kid, aka Squish. He is somewhat of, he's my coach for a competitive noob series, which I really appreciate. And it was actually fun to actually sit here and actually record some of his videos as well as my own. But Again, I want to thank everybody who watched the competitive news series from start to finish. That I appreciate that so much. Thank you guys. You have no idea how much that means to me. Even though this is the end of the competitive news series, this is not the end of me playing Pokemon. Uh, like I said before in my last video, I will do more. Probably viewer battles or, you know, fun stuff with my friends. You know, it is what it is. But this is officially the end of the competitive news series. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace.